Only a year has passed since the versatile Mavic Air 2 released in the wild. DJI, the most popular consumer drone company, has surprisingly released its third edition to the Mavic Air series, the Mavic Air 2S. With its updated specs and larger camera sensor, is the 2S worth it? Let's take a look. At first glance, the Mavic Air 2S looks very similar to its previous model. It still has the compact fold-in design and the company's flagship 3-axis mechanical gimbal. But there's a slight change to its front to accommodate the upward-facing avoidance sensors, which are new to the 2S. So nothing to report back on the design for the 2S. This time around, DJI focused on upgrading its guts for this model. The 2S comes with a 1-inch camera sensor, which is found in DJI's higher-end consumer drones, like the Phantom 4 Pro and Mavic 2 Pro. This is a huge upgrade from its previous model, which came in at a measly half inch. Because of this, the 2S is able to shoot in lower light settings the previous model would otherwise struggle with. The larger sensor also provides a wider spectrum of colors and a smaller crop factor than the Air 2, which is great for videographers and photographers alike. But it doesn't stop there. The 2S shoots up to 5.4K at a maximum frame rate of 30 frames per second and 150 megabits per second, a new benchmark for a drone this small, whereas the Air 2 only shoots up to 4K Ultra HD at 120 frames per second. The 2S can also shoot in 10-bit D-Log color profile, whereas the Air 2 can only shoot in d sin like 2S drone flyers can now push your footage even further to get more color out of their shots. What's also new to the Air series, and to most consumer drones, is the digital zoom feature that supports 8x zoom, making it much easier to frame your shots. But there is a caveat. The digital zoom feature doesn't work with D-Log or HDR color profiles, which is such a bummer. Using zoom and D-Log together would have been such a great tool for cinematographers, and I hope it's included in its next upgrade. As for the remote, the 2S comes with the same bulky yet easy to use controller as the Air 2. It's definitely a chunky controller compared to say the one that came with DJI's FPV drone, but I dig it. It feels really good in hand and it has really good weight. The Air 2S provides the gold standard drone flying experience that DJI is known for. You could be up and flying within minutes. All you need to do is charge your batteries, download DJI's Fly app, and you're all set. For safety, the 2S, like all DJI drones, come equipped with a geofencing system and air sense to notify the flyer when it's unsafe to fly in the area, like near airports or nearby planes. The 2S also comes with DJI's updated version of Advanced Pilot Assistance Systems, APAS for short, which allows the drone to maneuver around obstacles on its own better than previous versions. And there's an extra pair of sensors that face upward to accompany others that face front, back, and down. This is all great, but I wish instead of sensors facing upwards, they put sensors on its sides so that during active track, DJI's mode where it focuses and tracks a selected subject in frame, the drone can notice oncoming obstacles while flying parallel to the subject, and this won't happen. The 2S comes equipped with the same pre-programmed flight modes, quick shots, and hyperlapse like its predecessors. DJI also included a new mode called Master Shots, where the drone does most, if not all, of the quick shot programmed flight patterns and edits the footage automatically for you to share quickly amongst your friends. After testing the DJI Mavic Air 2S for a bit now, it's a fantastic upgrade from its predecessor. And as a cinematographer, I would definitely look into swapping my Air 2 for its larger sensor and updated hardware. For casual flyers, this isn't a must. The Air 2 is still a fantastic drone, but those who are looking to purchase a new professional quality drone at $1,000, the DJI Mavic Air 2S is the one to get.